plaintiff, Jessica Sullivan, says she first met the defendant on social media when she was buying marijuana from him. And she eventually let him move in with her. Jessica says she and the defendant started a sexual relationship, but he was nothing more than a boy toy. And she's suing him today for unpaid loans. Defendant Diamond Estafa insists he and Jessica were in a committed relationship. Despite the fact that he was 13 years younger, Diamond says a few months into the relationship, Jessica became extremely insecure, and she once keyed his car in a jealous rage. Diamond insists the plaintiff is suing for more than he owes. Start with you. I met Diamond in January 2015 off Facebook. I was buying marijuana off him. We became smoke buddies over the year, and his parents are strict. They don't like substances, so they kicked him out of the house. He is 13 years younger than me. I loaned Diamond money for his car. Well, after he was kicked out, where did he? He came to move with me January 2016. Uh, you allowed him? Yes, because okay. I felt bad that for him. That must have been some hell of a weed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In-house weed. <Yeah. laughs> In-house weed, that's right. So come on, move with me. You got that kush. <laughs> it's that California kush. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. So he moved in. How was that? How? Um, what was it like you all living together? Were you dating? No, he was my boy toy. That's right. It's about time. <laughs> got all these men in here coming saying that about women. Well, she was a plaything. You were a... Play toy. <laughs> What'd you call him? He was what? He was my boy toy. Boy toy. <laughs> no love, no nothing. <laughs> Come home and do your job. Uh, uh. <laughs> and go on back to the other room. <laughs> you want to see you no more. <laughs> <laughs> you give me some background, sir. All righty. Well, I met Jessica on Facebook, and I moved in early of 2016, around January. And I don't know why she's saying I was her boy toy when I was her boyfriend. We started dating, and then within four or five months later, around June, July time, gets the weather's all nice. Since I'm 13 years younger, she thinks I'm going to go find a girl my age. So I proved it wrong, and then... A couple months later go by, she's over, She's just overly jealous for no reason. I like the girl status on Facebook. She gets so jealous that she goes outside, keys my car, front to back, even the trunk. But I looked on Google how to remove scratches. I put toothpaste, all gone with toothpaste. And then I gave her another chance. Everything was all good. Another month later, again, overly jealous. And I didn't even use Facebook anymore at the time. What did she allege? Another Facebook like, which I didn't even go on Facebook. She has to pass my Facebook password, yet she thinks I'm liking other girls' pictures because they're popping up. What do you say? Dad? He's a liar. Before we get to the loans, what happened with your relationship? He said his. He wasn't paying bills. He was mooching, so he had to pay the bills somehow. He was my boy toy. Now, if you're going to do it, do it all the way. Now, you know you got to pay the bills when you do that, right? <laughs> You know if you have somebody younger than you and they're just your toy thing, no real commitment, you got to pay them bill. If you're going to be a sugar mama, do it right. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. no. All right. So that's you say it was he you uh, broke up because he wouldn't pay any bills. No, we weren't even dating. We were just friends and he needed a place Object, to stay. Object, Your Honor. That's right, not And you true needed a boy toy. I did say that part. Well, no. All right. And none of this is true. And you getting jealous over women because you didn't care. No. All right. And what are the loans you're suing for? I gave Diamond $3,700 in car repairs that he was supposed to pay me back with his taxes. Uber took his taxes. He never gave me a dime. And then I told him I was going to sue him. Next thing you know, a month later, he, he's gone. Sir? She didn't have a car at the time, so I let her use my car. We're both dating, so... She's she wants to drive my car, then yeah, she's gonna have to fix something too, you know? 
And then the only thing I do have to pay her, or I should pay her, is the 155 for it, because I got all around tints on my Chrysler 300. And you got tents on your car all of a all, sudden, out of all, the blue. Yep. Yeah, you got girls in there. You know what that is. <laughs> you do know that, right? You do know that. They can have them. All right, I'm just telling you what it is. Now, the man that went and got tents, you drive by the uh, elementary school anytime after 8. And you'll see that car <laughs> with the tents, <laughs> with weed coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have mercy on. But the other three thousand or so? Oh, it was not alone. She gave it to me, ma'am. It makes sense, though. To be honest, you know, we just went over that. I have a text message. She even admitted to it. Let's see. <laughs> Oh boy, toy! <laughs> you want gigolo? You gotta learn how to gigolo. <laughs> I would have paid, but now you're going too far. First, she says, "Hello, Diamond. I'll see you soon on the Judge Mathis show." <laughs> <laughs> Pay your debts, hon. Goodbye, he says. I would have paid, but now you're going too far. You won't see a penny from me. You and Judge Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't say that part, but he did say that about you. <laughs> Sir, what are you talking about? You were going to pay her what? I thought she was talking about the car tents. I misread it. You were high? Maybe a little bit, but not too high, you know. Not too high to know. <laughs> you misread it, but it's still the same. $3,732 is your judgment. Have a good day. Pay your debts? I feel like it's unfair. I shouldn't have to pay her anything. She was my sugar mama at the time. Biggest mistake I've ever made. Best mistake I've ever made. <laughs>